so what do you call this this whatever we call this? Okay, so I was, however, I can't remember who taught me or who showed me or what I saw, uh, but well, this is what I saw, right. uh, and it's basically jumping the channels. Right. That's what I was told it was called. So, you know, some people do it with the old eight hundreds, uh, tons of amps, you know, fenders, all sorts of amps. So it allows us to put this and this, you know, in in a, a position where we could have or how I like it, uh, we get tons of that high high end and low end and like just that smooth, right, round like subby glowing SVT sound here, and then on this uh, channel, I like to get more of a punchier mid rangey almost sun type sound, right. you know, right. so it like cuts and brings the bass forward. So you always have that mid range bite and uh, just that raunch, right. but you also have that nice smooth like sub low end glue. That's what I feel, this amp is like the ultimate glue. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's, let me, I'll just start playing. I mean, it, 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 it really makes the amp way more versatile. I, oh, and you could man. do tons of, you could round it out. This is more just like, to me, what I picture this is just like that 90s, like SVT. Right. You know, it can be a little dirtier. It could always be a little more dirty. Right, right. But this right. is just a powerful, clean, aggressive sound. Like, right. most, most guys could just take this and run with it. Maybe turn it up a little bit, dig in a little more. Right. But or maybe one overdrive, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just to push it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, like, throw a, 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 a fuzz in this channel and then eventually we'll throw something in this channel so it'll be independent fuzz into this and independent distortion into this and we'll just see where we go with it. Cool, so what we're going to do now is we're going to throw in an amp tweaker type fuzz into just this channel. Okay, here we go.
very cute too. I mean, I mean, obviously, yes, but but it's still like it's doing things that I've never heard this head do. So awesome. obviously, this is do this, jump this, <laughs> start getting into that, and so let's try. So what you're saying, we're going to need a Y cable. I think so because this sound is ultimately, you know, it did. And let's confirm this. Uh, I think this sound is going to both channels. It but is. Let's right. let's just make sure real quick. Okay. We would need a Y cable to go into two channels independently, and you could even do some cool stuff like you mentioned earlier. You can have one be maybe cleaner, and you can even have like a chorus effect right. on it, a drive on it. You could do some, you know, uh, delay stuff. Obviously, you, you'll 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 you could end up running into like some phasing stuff, but I don't. You don't know to try. Yeah, right, right, right. But it'd be cool to like combine two different types of sounds. Like, I don't know. If, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if even a Y cable is gonna. It just seems like you're still hitting. It's ultimately ending up in the same place, mm -hmm. right? Or no? I mean, I, I've seen I've seen uh, old pictures of bands, multiple people playing through the same amp, even where you have someone right. going into the dedicated right. one and then someone going to a two. So, we can definitely try it. All right, let's do it, let's try it, let's just try it. Cool, here we go. Experiment part two. Mm -hmm. We're using the Russian distor drive distortion and, and we're uh, uh, gonna combine it, combine it in this configuration with the type fuzz by uh, M-Tweaker. Okay, so we'll go for a, br this definitely has that, like you said, that growl, that right. like bitey, shellacky sound. And this, we'll try to, we'll get a warmer sound, that way we can like, you know, yeah, really hit cool. it. Is for whoa, how quiet it is. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, it's not. I mean, I, my shit can get pretty pretty gnarly, but I have good luck with you know. It, it people would swear you're not, you don't have your shit on, and you fucking just 
destroyed. Whoa! So it's nice to have that. I mean, that's a lot of game. So tight. So it made this bass sound the way I always knew it could. That's <laughs> awesome. So anyway, if you're making records and you need an awesome, obviously awesome engineer. <laughs> and how do they get a hold of you? Uh, uh, email, I guess, yeah. words, you know. Email him. I'll put it on the, on the, on the post. Yeah. And you can email him and he'll record your record. You got to go to Gainesville. Yeah. Unless you want to fly or, him. Or, yeah, or I'll be out here, you know. Yeah. So. so maybe next time you can bring some of your gear and yeah, we can do that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I would love to you know, awesome. show you my stuff. All right. Have you played through it too. Awesome. Yeah. Jonathan Nunez, Torch, go see them. I love them. And you get to play with Mel Banana, which yeah. I love. So, so. yeah, and thank you, pedalsandeffects.com. So.